Hey guys, Matt McWilliams here, and welcome back to day eight of the 30 days of Q&A that we're doing. And um, today I had a, a, a question from somebody who wishes to remain anonymous because the actual, uh, the, there's a longer question that they asked uh, that I won't get into, but it, it ultimately ties into the number one thing I did to double my blog traffic in less than six months. And that was what I, I told this person when they were asking me, you know, Matt, what can I do to, to get more traffic? And, you know, they, they, were, they felt kind of directionless with their, their content is really what they were going after. And they asked me what I did. And, and I told them that this thing that I did doubled, more than doubled my blog traffic in less than six months. And that was that I got clear about what I was writing about. And I also got clear about what I was not writing about. Yeah, I made a very common mistake, and I'm not I'm not upset that I made this mistake. I don't regret it because it was a it was a learning process. I'm so thankful for it because now I have something to relate to. But when I started my blog, I decided I wanted my blog to be about personal growth, leadership, small business, entrepreneurship, uh, marketing, a little bit of uh, you know uh, other stuff like fitness and health and you know all these things uh, you know self improvement you name it personal finance i mean that it was i was all over the place and while i grew my blog and i was getting an average of about 20, 20 to 25000 visitors per month and i had a uh, an email list of a, a few thousand um, i wasn't and i was making some money i was making a little bit of money i was making less than less than 75000 for sure i was probably making 40 to 50000 dollars a year for my blog um, uh, it was just, it was, it was hard work. And I don't mean hard work. Like, you know, wow, I had to sit down or stand as I do. I stand up usually when I write, you know, I had to stand up and write a blog post and I had to spend hours. That's not what I'm talking about. It was mentally, it was taxing for me to come up with content because I didn't know what to write about from one moment to the next. I was all over the place. And was I a, was I a self-improvement blogger? Was I a personal growth blogger? Or was I a, a health blogger? Was I a leadership blogger? Was I an entrepreneurship blogger? What was I? And who was I speaking to? And my audience was like, 27% entrepreneurs and 49% entrepreneurs. I'm making these numbers up because I don't remember. And 30% like people who are never going to be entrepreneurs. My audience was, you know, just all over the place. It was people with kids, without kids. And it was, you know, it was people who like they wanted to know about marketing, but then some of them didn't care. And, and it was just, oh my gosh, it was all over the place. And I realized one day that when you try to speak to everyone, you essentially speak to no one. You, you end up effectively talking to no one because, you know, from one day to the next, I could be talking about things that would appeal to you. And then the next day, if you were following me, the next day, I could be talking about something you didn't give a flying crap about. And the other thing I realized is that, you know, I'm not an expert in any of those areas. I'm really not. I'm pretty knowledgeable about leadership. I'm a good leader, not a great leader. I'm pretty knowledgeable about entrepreneurship. I've been one for the overwhelming majority of my adult life, but you know, it doesn't, I'm not that special, you know, in terms of entrepreneurship. I'm not like amazing at entrepreneurship. I don't know. I'm like, Hey, he's an amazing entrepreneur. I don't know what that, what that looks like, but you know, anyway, like all of those things that I was talking about, I was a, I was a B player. I wasn't an A player. What I'm talking about now, talking about affiliate launches, affiliate marketing, I'm an A player. And I don't say that with any ego or attitude. It's that's the reality. This is what I've been blessed to be good at. It's what I've worked for a, you know, more than a dozen years at. And I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this industry. I, I read about this industry. I get better at this industry. I'm all over it. I'm, I'm reading the, you know, the books. And every day, every week, I'm reading new books about this industry. And it was hard for me to keep up with that other stuff because I you know, it was really hard for me to generate content. You know, one of the reasons I'm doing 30 days of Q&A is because I have such a giant backlog of, of information, of topics that I want to talk about. This 30 days isn't even going to make a dent in the number of blog posts that I can write, the number of videos that I can record. All because I got clear on what I wanted to talk about, but I also got clear on what I'm not going to talk about. Not going to talk about things that essentially I don't want to be known for. If I don't want to be known for it, I'm not going to talk about that anymore. And so I'm talking and writing and I'm podcasting, you know, soon and, and doing interviews about things that I want to be known for. I want to be known for affiliate launches, affiliate programs, how to make money as an affiliate, affiliate marketing. Basically, if it has the word affiliate in it, I want to be known for it, right? And so these are the things that I'm going to be known for. These are the things that I'm going to talk about and write about. So I encourage you, my challenge to you is to get crystal clear. What are you an A player at? 
You know, I'm an A player at affiliate stuff because A, I've been doing it for a very long time. B, I study it every day. I'm, I'm enthusiastic about it. I wake up excited about this stuff every single day. Three, you know, I have the credentials. You know, I've been affiliate manager of the year, nominated multiple times, won other awards, pretty much every award you can win in this industry. I've, I've won. And again, I don't say that to brag. I say that to say, okay, hey, Matt, it's pretty clear this is what you're good at. See, what was happening is I was winning those awards and I was getting told by people, wow, you're, you're the best in the world at this stuff. You are literally the best in the world at this. And yet I wanted to write about personal growth and self-improvement and entrepreneurship, you know, general entrepreneurship, stuff like that. I want to write about leadership, things that I'm good at, but not great at. Yeah, I have, uh, you guys have you know, probably heard or seen him on my blog, Mark Sievercrop. Same kind of thing. And I'm going to invite him to share his journey here in the next few months. But he went through the same thing. You know, he was really, really good at one thing. but He wasn't one of the best in the world at it. And now he's found his niche. I'm so excited for, I'm more excited for him than I am for me because he's found his niche. He's the best in the world at it. I'm his, uh, his target audience. It involves youth soccer and I'm his target audience because our daughter loves soccer and I don't know anything about soccer. I can watch soccer and not have a clue what's going on. And so I'm like his guinea pig kind of. So I'm excited not only for him, but also for me because I'm learning all this stuff. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he like, and now he's like, oh my gosh, I have so much content. He used to go weeks at a time sometimes and not post because he didn't know what to write. He's like, I've got a backlog of content. It's so exciting to see that in other people. And I want to see that in you. So get crystal clear about what you're going to write about, what you're going to talk about, what your, your theme of your, your, your platform is. Get crystal clear on it, about what you're going to write about, what you're not going to write about. And I'm telling you, the result will be that may not be in six months, it may be in two months, it may be in two years, your traffic will double. Your impact will double. Your email list will double or more. And your revenue and your your, your revenue will probably more than triple or quadruple. That's what happened with me. Because you're super focused on what who you are and what you talk about and, and who you're for. So that's my challenge to get crystal clear on those things. Guys, I'm Matt McWilliams, and if you're watching this anywhere other than mattmcwilliams.com, if you're watching it on YouTube or wherever, make sure to go back over to mattmcwilliams.com and all that stuff I just talked about, what I talk about, affiliate marketing, how to make money as an affiliate, how to run an affiliate program, how to run a launch. Uh, i got tons of free resources there for you guys, so go check those out. Guys, I'm Matt McWilliams, and I will see you on day nine.